I'm Todd Neal, MedPage Today. There have been reports that endovascular repair of abdominal aortic aneurysm reduces perioperative mortality and time spent in the hospital and ICU compared with the more invasive open procedure. However, there have been few data comparing short-term outcomes from the procedures. So Dr. Frank Letterly of the Minneapolis VA Medical Center and colleagues set out to compare the two procedures in a nine-year randomized trial. Letterly discussed two-year results at a press briefing in Chicago. There were 74 deaths. 7% um, in the in the vascular group and 9.8% in the open repair group, a uh, difference which is not significant with a p-value of point, uh, uh, 0.13. Three deaths occurred before aneurysm repair could take place. When you look at deaths within 30 days after repair or within 30 days or during hospitalization, so if a patient stays in the hospital longer than 30 days and then dies, the difference then is highly significant. Um, 0.2 or 0.5% for endovascular repair, 2.3 or 3% for open repair. For late deaths, 30 day, after 30 days of hospitalization, we did not see what's been seen in earlier trials, an increased excess, or an excess mortality in the endovascular group late. In fact, the two, uh, excess mortality in two group, or the late mortality in two groups were essentially the same and even slightly higher in the open repair group. Aside from differences in early survival, there were several significant differences between the procedures on secondary outcomes. So endovascular repair being a different procedure resulted in a shorter procedure time uh, from, uh, from 3.7 hours down to 2.9 hours, shorter time on mechanical ventilation, uh, less blood loss, less transfusion requirement, shorter duration in hospital from seven days down to three days, shorter time in intensive care unit from four days down to one day. On the other hand, it resulted in substantial use of fluoroscopy, <coughs> which is radiation, and contra uh, contrast, which can affect the kidney function. Letterly said that further research is needed to fully assess the merits of the two procedures, and that he expects the final results from this study to be ready for publication in three years. I'm Todd Neal, MedPage Today.